Hello, this is Dread, and in today's video topic, we're going to be going over top five builds in the community that I trust. So in point nine point one rising flames, there isn't really that much changing. So the usual series of videos that I make the top five builds I recommend for this patch, like the last one, uh, if you want to see my recommendations for this patch, you can watch that video as well, because it is not outdated in the slightest. Um, Normally, I'd make a video like that, but there's not enough changing. So instead, I thought I'd take this opportunity and talk about builds from the community that I trust, because uh, turns out I'm not the only person who makes last epoch videos. Also as well, there's been a large influx of new people who make quality content and haven't really made clickbaity content and not garbage content. So it's nice that I am in this position where I get to talk about other people who, you know, work on last epoch with the same kind of passion that I do. So that's, it's nice to be able to actually do that. So these builds are going to be builds that I would have made eventually, uh, if I had the time, but sadly I can't make everything right. So these people have done me a world of help in terms of playing things that I wouldn't have been able to get to. So one thing I want to talk about first is uh, I'm going to be ignoring max rule when I make this list, mainly because, um, the people at Maxwell, they're doing an absolute wonderful job. I know everyone who's on the team. I know Lizard, I know uh, McFluff, and I know Tarek, and they make quality content. But my problem is, is um, I don't want to just hog up the whole list with Maxwell builds, right? If you want to go see their stuff, their stuff's wonderful, high quality, go check it out in the description as well. I'm going to link them down below as well. Also as well, uh, uh, the quality of the videos in the footage is going to vary widely, mainly because I had to like get them in a different way. Also as well, <laughs> you should leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as that's the best way of showing me that you want more content like this. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about the builds, shall we? All right, speaking of builds that I've been wanting to play but haven't had enough time to play, Lightning Swipe Werebear. If you don't know, with the adaptive melee changes and also as well a huge rework to swipe, it has gotten so many changes that I've been wanting to play it, but sadly I didn't, wasn't able to get around to it. But my man Volka here has been able to play it, and oh my goodness, it, it is an absolute dream. I think it is by far one of the best Werebear builds. It is up there with Coldout Werebear. It is amazing. It's buttery smooth because you're playing swipe, just swipe Werebear, but Guess what? Instead of like the old versions, you actually do damage. And that is because you have the ability to turn all of your damage into lightning. You get a lot of more damage, a lot of penetration. You just get everything that you possibly could want for a build like this. And I'm just so happy that this build exists now and I can recommend people to play it like this. This is by far probably one of the better builds of the patch. So I'm very excited to be able to talk about it. So one of the best things I like about this build is the fact that it is a melee build that isn't absolute garbage. I've been complained to constantly about bad melee build, bad melee build. Dread, why are there so many bad melee builds? I'm like, fine, here you go. This is probably one of the better ones. And that is mainly because it has access to things like the pull on Warcry. So when you're doing like T4 Jirla, uh, you can pull her into your AOE. You're tanky enough to tank all the stuff in T4 Jirla. Now it is like a two minute T4 Jirla, but that's just mainly because uh, it's tanky. So it can dodge and ignore most of the mechanics so that you just simply sit there and DPS her down, which is really nice for people who don't want to move and, you know, are, a little bit less uh, AP, uh, APM like we are, right? So overall, great, wonderful build, pushing up to high corruption. It's just amazing. I'm just so happy with this build. I, I don't know, like Volca did an absolutely wonderful job with it, and I don't know if I can praise it enough. So Lightning Swipe Boy Bear, go play it. All right, for the next build, we're going to be talking about Arc Mage Skeleton. So, uh... My friend Ali was nice enough to work on a solo Cryomancer build. So essentially what you do is you take one Arc Mage and you just juice it 
just juice it as much as possible. You juice it with Infernal Shade, you juice it with Dread Shade, and it makes it so that it can do as much damage as possible and also having pretty good clear because it's shooting out a bunch of projectiles. This is actually a build that's going to be buffed heavily when the next patch comes because Apogee is probably one of the best builds that could be used with this. The only problem is you are going to have to like kind of uh, do like a kind of a bit of a change the build and add in a melee attack to get that extra 30% more damage from Apogee, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. But overall, uh, this build is really fun because it highlights one of the best things that Last Epoch does is it's slower gameplay allows like solo minion builds to actually thrive and function because of the fact that like, you know, you don't have to clear as much and you don't have to worry too much about like clear speed and stuff like that because you know it's last epoch right it's not like path of exile where you need to be clearing maps per minute and all that um so it allows builds like this to exist and path of exile builds like this do not exist you have like summon reaper and summon reaper is really good against bosses but the clear is that, eh. so it's nice to be able to see a build like this do so well another reason i wanted to talk about this build is because it is probably out of every single build i've ever seen uh, is probably one of the only builds I would actually recommend going low life with. Uh, and it has two reasons. One, you don't want to press buttons to use Twisted Heart, right? She did not want to use Twisted Heart on this build because she didn't want to press buttons. She wanted to be AFK. She wanted to be able to stream, talk to people, watch stuff on the side. Perfect, right? So no Twisted Heart. Actually makes sense that she's not using Twisted Heart here. Second thing, uh, she did not have access to the relic, the health regen relic, uh, you know, vessel, uh, vessel, the vessel setup. And that means that low life is our only choice because if you go life, you're going to die constantly without the healing. So low life is the only reason, like the only way to make this build work, uh, in the way that she set it up. And it's the only, like one of the only low life builds I've ever seen that actually makes sense because, you know, you just want to sit there and kind of relax and not have to think about everything. And low life's perfect for that, for this specific setup with Necromancer, right? As she's sitting at like six to seven K ward constantly, even when she takes a hit, it's going to bump up quick because she has a chronostasis in her main hand, meaning that her ward's going to bump up, 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 back up. And of course, as well, she has the a ward sustained from zombies all of that combined means that her defense suite is much better than any other low life build i've ever seen which is amazing uh so yeah actual good low life build guys and solo minion cryomancer great build you should go and give it a try if you like minions so here's another build that i've been wanting to play slash showcase for a while it is lightning chakram blade dancer so recently there was a lot of uproar in the community in general because they were baited because there was someone offline doing like 1400 corruption with like a low life play dancer and it was yeah and i was like well why don't you just go life well perfect someone actually played the build for me this in this case this is life blade dancer life blade dancer with chakrams lightning chakrams this is like you don't need all of that crit that the low life builds we're getting you don't need it at all like at all and this is going to end up becoming significantly tankier than that version uh because you know you have leech right like as you can tell in like the uh boss fights like he's taking hits but he's instantly back up to max hp in a second and that is why hp is better than low life in this specific situation now what's beautiful as well is this build's actually getting buffed with the new amulet that gives you like 400 flat life that is an easy slot into this build to make it significantly tankier as you put on the amulet bam you have 400 extra hp uh, it's gonna lead to him probably having close to like 2800 hp at the end of it when he has everything set up which is wonderful right uh now if you don't know lightning chakram uh with the fulgurite shards is probably one of the higher damage builds in this patch in general just because of just chakrams shadow scaling stuff like that and of course you get access to umbral blades as well which is wonderful and all of that combined leads to a buttery smooth play style where you just synchronize strike you chakram and you kill everything in your way and i've been wanting to play a build like this mainly because you know People have been asking for a build like this. And finally, Trixer made a version of it. So I would heavily suggest going to play Trixer's version instead. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to link this. Uh, this is actually a forum guide and a video, so I'm going to link both of those in the description. All right. All right, this is another build I've been wanting to talk about. It's Beanishol's Thorn Totem Spriggan. Uh, this was made with the help of Bestie, our resident totem player. And Thorn Totem just got huge buffs this patch, like being able to run the one projectile node and actually do a significant portion of single target damage is absolutely amazing. Like Thorn Totems in general just... Oh my goodness, like being able to level from level one all the way to level 100 with just Thorn Totems as Thorn Totem Spriggan is so nice as it is one of the most noob friendly builds in the entire game. As you can, like you said, the leveling is amazing, especially as soon as you get Spriggan form, you have infinite rage. You just slam down totems constantly. Just everything about this build is absolutely wonderful. Uh, even the clear on it is still good. Even with only one projectile, you can grab nodes at the end of Thorn Totem that allow you to pierce enemies uh, per projectile, which means your clear is actually pretty good as well because that projectile it will actually pierce through a bunch of enemies and you place down a bunch of totems into a pack and it just blows up because you just have that much cast speed on your totems. Now, there are some things I would change about this build, mainly incorporate stuff like entangling roots to get a little bit more single target DPS and stuff like that. But like other than that, like, this build's great. Like every variant of this build's gonna be great, no matter what you do. So, uh, Thorn Totem Spriggan form, absolutely amazing. You should try it if you like minion builds or like this. All right, all right. In this next build, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Grow up. It's my video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about another build by Volca. Uh, this is Hammer Throw Paladin Enris Technique. So. This is my baby. I've been playing Hammer Throw Crit for the past few patches now, and like it's finally getting to the point where like it's just absolutely amazing. And thankfully, Volka took it and he just ran with it. Like absolutely ran with it. And I'm just so proud of our child here. Just so proud of NRS Technique Crit. Like I didn't have time to update this build to 9.0, but he did. And oh my goodness, he went to the moon with it. Like, just absolute amazing specs. Like, high corruption, all the tier 4 bosses, very chonky build. Even with a shield, he is still out DPSing the other version I was playing, mainly because of all the changes, right? Uh, and I'm just so proud, just so proud. It brings a tear to my eye. I'm just so happy to see a build like this do so well because, you know, I like to play a lot of different builds. My... My philosophy is I want to play everything in Last Epoch, so that means I'm always playing a bunch of different builds, and I'm able to, like, push them higher than usual, right? Like, I'll usually push a build to 300, 400 corruption. After that, I, can, I don't really have the time to push higher than that because it's, corruption isn't really difficult. It's just a time investment, right? But thankfully, Volca has been able to put that time in, and you can see it with this build. Like, this build just... Probably one of the better builds in the game in general, in terms of clear speed, in terms of just monolith clearing speed, in terms of bossing, like just, just, I'm so happy with this build. I'm proud of it. Like if you have not played a build like this, like this build specifically, I would stop everything you're doing, level up a paladin, just play it, just play this build. It is so good. It is so unbelievably good. It like, it deserves all the praise I could possibly give it and more. And I'm going to stop there because it's just going to get weird. So, yeah. Hammer Throw Paladin. Go play it. All right. That's going to be it for this video. If you ended up watching this long, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, as well, down below in the comments, tell me what build excites you the most out of this video. Or what build do you want to play when point nine point one Rising Flames comes? What are your guys' thoughts on the patch? All of that. Leave it down below. I want to read it. All that being said, this has been Dread. Off to go play Point Nine Point Run Rising Flames. Bye.